Hey Murphy. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Right in time. Two thousand eleven train XL twenty I three ton heat pump. You know what's funny? I don't even know if it's in cool mode or heat mode. Is that in cool is that in cool mode or heat mode? Cool mode. What happened to the one that it replaced? What was wrong with it? Um the pressure died. It only eight years old? Yep. This is like the best you can buy. It's pretty quiet. Yeah, it's got dual um, compressors. Really? Yeah. One one and a half ton, one um, three ton. Three nominal ton is the cooling capacity. Yeah. 36,000 BTUs. So what I don't get is there used to be a five-ton heat pump here, and this is a three-ton. So I don't know uh, if this, yeah, I don't know if this is undersized or the one it replaced was oversized. I mean, this house is over 3,000 square feet. But this handles it just fine. Well, I don't know. I've never been in the house on a really hot day. When is when did it get replaced? I have no idea. I just came here the day of that crazy snowstorm in October that we had, and it was here in place of the Bryant. But the compressor blew up, and probably because it was oversized and it was cycling on and off too much. So there you go. 2011 train. Pretty impressive. What, this one? Yeah. One of these will set you back about $6,000. Yeah, it's a really good unit. And then there's the there's the 06 Bryant right there. And where's little Murphy? Dogs are always popular on YouTube too. Yeah. <laughs> Murphy. Murphy, look up to say hi. So yeah, it's weird. I don't understand why this house had a five-ton heat pump and they put replaced it with a smaller one. I don't know. My theory is that the Bryant was too big. And because the compressor went because it was cycling on and off so much because it was too big for the house and that's what killed it. Maybe. Murphy, how old is he now? He will be seven in July. That's a yes. Shih Tzu. Yeah. Murray, Murphy. Hey Murphy. I will. Murphy. Murphy, look at the okay, camera. So it goes that way. There's a stray cat around here that he's. Oh yeah, I saw for. it come running out of here. Murray, Murphy. <laughs> Murphy. So yeah, it's obviously running in the low power stage now, so it's running at one and a half tons capacity. Lines are, the, the suction line's getting nice and cold. Not really sweaty yet, but it is getting really, really cold. Another, I just remember another fond memory of this uh, house because I don't know if anyone remembers this but my grandmother used to own this particular house and it has a built-in 
stereo system with a tape deck and I when I was a little kid my cousins and I would listen to the Jungle Book soundtrack over and over again on the stereo in this house. And it has a I don't know what model compressor it is. It just says made in China. Or a compressor, fan motor. Yeah? The problem with the other unit is it had a leak. Ah, it leaked. And um compression was leaking and um it weren't the wouldn't pay for it as long as it was running. I hate loopholes. So I love loopholes and I hate them at the same time. I figured it would fail at the worst possible time, so I, I um, decided that was the end of it. The other one was, it um, wasn't Train, it was... Um, Brian. Brian. I'll never buy another Brian. They wouldn't stand by the product, so... Yeah, plus I think that one was too big for the house. I mean, did a, did a guy come by here and do a, a load calculation when he put that in? Yes, he did. You've changed everything. The air handler unit, the air cleaner. Do you still have that propane boiler in the basement that's tied into the... I still have it, but it's disconnected. So do you just have straight electric heat now? Yep. So you did that too? Yeah. Because that's what I was thinking of having my grandmother do. They, they told me the price of propane was so high that um, it was more economical to stay with the electric. So what is it, 20 kilowatt, 15 kilowatt? And is it a Hyperion air handler? No, it's a uh, train. That, that is a, a train. Hyperion is like this one that's built like a refrigerator, so there's less condensation damage. It's a train. So yeah, the people who, um, the people who um, did it did a load calculation and everything? Came in and measured up the whole thing. And they like based it on the number of windows and all that? The guy came in, spent about an hour here. Have you ever felt the air coming out of the the vents on the second floor since you got this? Yeah, and, and it's, um, it's it's a variable speed fan on it. So, but it's come out really, really hard, or it is it kind of weak? Harder than it did on the other air handler. You know, before the other air handler, you hardly had any pressure up there. It's a little bit better now. So it feels so it fe and it feels consistent. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, I'd say that's the right size. Plus, the house doesn't have windows on the two um, things. So um, you can kill it now if you want. Shut it. Okay. Shut it. Yeah, I believe this was installed by the very same guy who installed my. Uh, There's like no noise from that compressor at all. Train Climate Tough Reciprocating Compressors kick ass. No doubt about it. So it's probably running at one and a half ton capacity right there. And you heard the owner. He bypassed the propane. That's what I'm telling my grandmother she should do. Do you have probe? Is the fireplace still hooked up? So you just have propane for the fireplace. Uh, actually, I disconnected the fireplace. I converted back to wood. You can do that? Yeah. Just take the, take the pipe out, take the unit out, and put a grating in, and just stack wood in there. So we've been burning wood for the last couple of years. Hey, uh, do you still have the tape player, the old, the built-in tape player in this house? Yeah, but it died this winter. I was just mentioning in the video, I loved to listen to Jungle Book on that thing when I was like eight. <laughs> it, it died. The whole thing went. New tone. All right, I will be back. So yeah, that was the train starting up and shutting down in cool mode in its low power stage. It seems to be a little bit more refined in um, the way it um, starts and stops. 
than the um, XL1800 at my aunt's neighbor's house in Virginia. But yeah, you heard the owner. He just totally got rid of all the propane. Now what I'm wondering is if the center fireplace in my grandma's house can be converted to wood. Sure. All you have to do, like down in the basement, they bring a propane line up and they bring it through. There's a little door in the fireplace that has to go down. Yeah. And they bring the, um, the propane line up through that and then hook it into that unit. Yeah. So you just have to disconnect the propane line and take that, uh, that jump away. Nothing like a wood burning fire. My house has a wood burning fireplace. This has been a Stamped Octagon production.